Hi guys, Case in UK here with a quick video on how to download the drivers and install certain software to allow you to use the PlayStation 3 controller on your computer. So, you want to download the Motion Joy software, I'll put two links below, one for the 32 bit and one for the 64. I'm using the 64 bit operating system so I'll be installing the 64 bit software. Um, the video will work for both, I presume. So after you've downloaded it, after you've, down bleh, after you've downloaded it, you'll have this. You just want to run that. You can either right-click open or just double-click it, run, and then install the software. So I'm just going to leave all the save paths and installation paths as default. Uh, create a desktop icon. That's always a good idea, and install it. So I'm going to untick that because I like to run it as administrator. It'll take you to the website, just close that. So you want to run the DS3 tool as administrator. It'll come up with this. Uh, you might want to update it, that's a good idea to do. Uh, restart the software. Here we are. So first things first, you want to go into the driver manager. As you can see, I've already got the drivers installed, but you probably won't. If you don't have the drivers installed, it'll have a cross there. What you do is, this is a controller port here, you tick that and you click load driver. As I said, it might take a good few minutes or whatever. For me it took about two minutes for some reason. But it should come up with this little icon saying installing drivers. After it's installed them, you should have a green little tick there. And that means the drivers have installed. Once it's done that, you want to go back to profiles. Now, here you can select what mode the controller is going to be in. I personally, uh, personally use the Xbox 360 controller emulator. So it works just like an Xbox 360 controller. Although there is other methods. I'd recommend using the 360 controller emulator because that's best you don't have to remap the buttons or anything you can choose options but it's a pain in the ass to get the controllers uh, the analog sticks working so I'm just going to use the Xbox 360 controller emulator tick that box and then tick enable once you've done that I'll make my controller vibrate just so you can hear it's working it's on my desk you might be able to hear it vibrating there so it does work and that's how you get the PlayStation controller to work now you just want to launch your games go into the options and enable the Xbox controller or whatever it is it'll pick it up as an Xbox controller so always pick the Xbox 360 controller I personally use the controller for FIFA and any racing games and yeah that's all you need to know and hopefully that worked if it didn't work then check out the forums or there might be some other videos but that should definitely work I hope you enjoyed the video Video, please like if it helped you and subscribe and check out my game commentaries. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.